a back to another YouTube video. Hey, hey, okay. So, uh, time me and an old friend, um, the fairgrounds, you know, and um, it was just me and him, and it was like 90 something degrees outside, okay, you know, and I was like, like he he was wearing a binder because his parents support him, and he's trans too, and then me, my parents don't support me, so I wore. Okay, le okay, let me tell you. It's like 90-something degrees. Like, higher than 90, lower than probably 100. So, probably right in the middle. Like, probably 96 or something. You know, it's hot as hell. The sun's right there. You know, we're going to be walking. It's, oh my goodness. First of all, it's packed there. So, we had to park, like, like, like a mile away and had to fucking walk. Um, so, I wore a black. I, I wear it before. I can't, I can't find the shirt. But, you know, it's the... Um, it's the flower shirt. It's my it's my Jefferson Casino shirt, uh, and then I always wear my necklace. I've always I always just wear my little cross necklace, you know. And then I um, I had a a bandage. What's that thing called? Uh, an ace bandage wrapped around me. You know the ace wrap that you're supposed to do it for your arm when you're broken. Your arm's broken, so I just wrap it all around me, you know. So um, I. I was wearing ace bandage, wrapped around tight as hell, and then, like, the little pins, I pinned it right there, and then I put my shirt over it, and then I put a sweatshirt over it, a pretty thick Iowa State sweatshirt that I wore over it, it was 90-something degrees, and, like, my parents, like, my parents, those people, they're always like, yo, why are you wearing a sweatshirt, it's like a 90 or 100 degrees outside, it's because you fucking don't support me and get me a fucking binder, they got me one binder, but it wasn't, it wasn't a binder, no, binder's supposed to be thick, here, I got a binder right here. I do a whole nother binder thingy, because I know someone wanted me to, but these are binders. I got, you see them? And then I got one that's a whole, like, I got a binder, I got this little binder, it's a half one, which is, I feel like it's easier to put on and off. Like, I would wear this during the summer for sure. And then I have, like, a full tank top binder, so it's literally a tank top. Like, I could literally just wear it outside, just a tank top binder, because you, you can't tell. It's a tank top, like people see it it's a tank top but uh but right here like it'd be just like this you know but it'd be all the way down and it'd be a tank top but right here is this and that makes it tight for your chest but the rest of it is just like loose like a tank top so like binders you know they don't like when you wear a bra or something you know you feel girly when you wear a binder it's like yo you know you feel more masculine um that's why Guys that are trans don't like to wear sports bras or anything because they're, they're girls. That's a girl shit. Binders are for guys. Like, trans guys. Or even, no, not, not, binders are not only for trans guys. Uh, guys with large chests, like, like, with man boobs or anything like that, they wear binders, too, to make it flat. Like, so it's not only for trans guys. Every guy's wear them. Like, I've watched some videos on YouTube that guys that are real boys, but they wear a binder and yeah, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Cause, like, when I look them up, they some of them don't just say trans binders. They say like for men, like real men too. I like how I say real men. It's like I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I am a man. But um, we were there and it's like hot as hell. You know, it's us two. And you know, I have to change it every two seconds because like it, like it, you know, it might unplug a little. So I have to retight it up and all that. And we're just walking like and sweating. And that whole thing is drawn in sweat. So I like took it off. Like when we went back in the car, I went in the back and changed. And I took it off. And I like squeezed it. Like filled with it. Like it filled with sweat. You know. Then I had to put it back on. And oh my goodness, I don't know how I made it. But I like wearing. The reason why I like wearing an ace bandage is because when you wear it, there's not gonna be anything right there. See how there's nothing. There's not going to be anything. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like, let's just say, because you know how shirts sometimes end up like this, like when you start walking, like, oh, hey, or end up like this or something, or like, or like down here, how like when you wear a binder, they, it, like, you'll be able to see it. Like, yeah. So that's why I like wearing ace bandage, because like, they want to be up here. Like, all this is free, you know? So, or duct tape. That's why I like wearing duct tape, because you can like, you can like go like this and be like, yo, see, normal boy. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's just, like, it's funny how, like, my parents knew I did it. Or maybe she wasn't even listening to me, which I understand that. But, I don't know. Like, I just feel like everyone should be able to support everyone. And the people that don't support me, I want to know why they don't support LGBT. Because, like, everyone is different. Like, yeah, I've watched those videos where the trans people overreact. Yeah, that happens. But, like, I don't know. Like, not every trans person does that. Like, me, I... I feel like when I, f like, first came out, when someone did call me the wrong gender, I did get way upset because I'm finally out. Like, finally free, call me a boy, you know? But, I don't know. Me, I, I'm, like, 
like I'm gonna keep just talk, t- telling a lot of stories actually right now. So there's gonna be a lot of stories in one about me being trans. Uh, so there's another one when I I wasn't even out. Okay, I wasn't even. I just had short hair. You know, I look just like this. I wore my. I probably had this shirt. I don't want to go searching for it though. It's just an, a red Iowa State shirt that I used to always wear. Wear some basketball shorts. Um, I wore my hair literally just like this. Um, and I just started walking. You know, and um. Like we went to my brother. I probably already told you this story. I don't know. Cause I, I say I, I feel like I say this story a lot. I went to my brother's uh, baseball game. My younger brother and with my with my adopted dad and um. You know, and I was just there on my phone. Like I don't really want to be here, but like there's nothing else to do. You know, it's in the morning of the summer, and I woke up and I don't want to go back to bed. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go with him. So I just saw my phone, just chilling. This girl comes by. This girl looks at my dad like an old woman, and like. And like not old old but like a mom woman and was like, Hey, your your son's really handsome and I'm like I was like I thought she was talking about the one up there. I was like, the guy playing baseball, I was like, he, he's not he's not handsome at all and then uh my adopted dad was like, They're talking about you And then I was like, Oh yeah, oh yeah I think that's the first time I ever got called like a no, I've always got called a boy. Like, even when I wasn't even out, like look like you know, I'd walk like this. I feel like I feel like when I wasn't out, no, okay, I don't want to say that, but I was like, I used to get called a guy all the time, like, and then I feel like I came out and everyone started, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's weird, because I used to, even when I wasn't even completely out, I just got a haircut, everyone was like, boom, you're a boy, and like, called, like, not everyone I know, but like, random people, like, when I'm at work, you know, I work with people, a lot of people, and everyone's just like, oh, yeah, he, and I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it was awkward, because, like, everyone didn't know I was trans, or, like, am a guy, you know, but I knew it, and I'm like, I know, and inside, I'm like, yeah, but outside, I'm like, oh, shit, like, there's one of my coworkers, they're probably looking at me like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, <laughs> it's was, it was funny, I don't know, it's just, I have so much good memories, and bad memories, and all that, and I just want to share it with you guys, since that's what I do on YouTube, and I probably will make a lot more story times, because I have a lot, one of the story times I'm going to do about is my hair, my hair was this tall, my hair was probably that tall, you know, and uh, my, my adopted dad was like, you need to, you need to put it down, or I'm going to shave it off, like, he would, he would yell at me, because my hair, my hair, because I put my hair up, and because everyone liked it, like, there was literally after, like, I got grounded, like, I'll tell you the story, I don't want to, like, spoil it, but I got grounded for having my hair up like this, and, like, right now, it's probably too long, he'd probably tell me to cut it off, or, uh, put it down, I got so grounded, that I used to put my hair down, and you, everyone at school, like, everyone knew me as this person right here, the hair, the hair guy, and then I go to school and I put my hair down. No one even like interacting with me. Like, what the fuck is that? You look like a turtle. You know. Um, I don't know. I feel like everyone should be able to be themselves. Whether it's my hair. Like my hair is the most important part on my thing. Like that's how I, like, that's how I like know I'm me. Like my hair. Like I've always loved my hair. I have so much hair products. Literally behind the camera, I have so much. Um, hair products, I got my blow dryer right there, I'm obsessed with my hair, and maybe that's a girl thing, but I love doing my hair, and that's the one thing I love to do, is my hair, but I got a lot of other videos, and if you guys made it to this part, please subscribe, please like, and comment, and hit the notification bell, thank you guys, really appreciate it, I'm gonna probably make more videos coming soon, I know, like, my videos are, like, offhand, I just make it whenever, but thank you guys, I really appreciate it, (laughs) see ya.